This is going to be a multi-step problem, so let's get started. Taking our cue from the previous video on this playlist, we're going to use the arctangent of 5x, also known as the inverse tangent of 5x, as our u. Taking a derivative of that is going to give us our du, but don't forget that we need to use the chain rule. And putting all of that together gives us that our du is 5 over the quantity 1 plus 25x squared. Looking back at our original integral, we'll notice that what we have left for dv is x dx. Integrating that to get v gives us 1 half x squared. Now let's rewrite this integral using our integration by parts formula. u times v is going to give us 1 half x squared times the inverse tangent or arctangent of 5x. Subtracting the integral of v du gives us this line right here. We can pull the constants out of that integral and I'll rewrite this as a single fraction. Okay, now what we're left with is an integral of a rational function and the degree of the numerator is greater than or equal to the degree of the denominator. So typically what this means is we need to rewrite this integrand using long division. The division problem won't take us too long. And the setup looks like this right here. And we need to ask the question, what do we multiply 25x squared by to get x squared? The answer is 1 25th. If we then multiply that 1 25th through, we get x squared plus 1 25th. And if we subtract, we get negative 1 25th as our remainder. That tells us that we can rewrite the original integrand as the quotient plus the remainder divided by the original denominator. Perhaps this would look just a little bit better if we pulled the 1 25th out of the entire thing. And there we go. We're going to take this result that we got and we're going to plug that into our integral right here. And hopefully what we're left with is something that we can integrate. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit bit to give myself some room. Plugging in what we got into our integral gives us this. And I think I'm going to pull that 1 25th out of this integral and I'm going to split the integral into two pieces. Doing a bit of cancellation gives us 1 10th out in front of the integral. And then splitting this integral into two pieces gives us that line. And the first piece of this integral should be pretty straightforward. The integral of 1 dx, or just dx, is just x. But this last integral looks to me like an arctangent integral, or an inverse tangent integral. And that would be written a little bit more nicely if we replace the 25x squared with a quantity of 5x squared. What that then suggests is that we can do a u substitution using u equals 5x, du is then 5 dx, or 1 fifth du is dx. Completely Completing that u substitution just brings a factor of 1 fifth outside of the integral, leaving us with 1 50th times the inverse tangent of u, which was 5x in the first place. All right, I'm going to put a plus c on that and see if we can simplify this just a little bit. I notice that we have two terms that have an inverse tangent on them. I'm going to factor from those two terms a 1 50th times the inverse tangent of 5x. If I do that with those two terms, what's going to be left from the first term is a 25x squared, and from the second term, just simply a plus plus one. Then what remains is a 1 10th x plus c. And that answer looks really nice to me. I'm going to zoom out on this problem so that you can see the whole thing. And I'll just say really quickly what we just did there. We started with an integration by parts problem. We chose u as our inverse tangent of 5x and our dv as x dx. What that gave us then was an integral that required polynomial long division to rewrite it in a form that we could integrate. Once we rewrote this in a form that we could integrate, we realized that the integral is actually going to involve an inverse tangent once again. Okay, that was a good problem. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I'll see you all in the next video.